Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I'm going to show you another information leak, information disclosure vulnerability. And it's a bit of a chain vulnerability because you need multiple things to consider, but it's a very real world scenario. And these kind of things happen all the time. So as a researcher, as a pen tester, I typically look at the domain which i'm analyzing like this one here and then in burp you have this nice functionality and it's basically called it's in the engagement tools and it's called discover content so it will spider the website and it will try to find as many um you know like linked and unlinked pages um it often can find backup files and, and other things which shouldn't be there leftovers and I've already done this, so this can take quite a bit. So I've already done this. And what I immediately spot here, like as you can see this here on the on the left hand side, there's a hackerback.html. And it sounds interesting. So I'm heading over and simply go to the hackerback.html. And so this is like a, a hack event or something which um took place, but the event is at full capacity. Please back, check back for future events. So um, nothing spectacular here, but me as, as a researcher, I will take a look at the source code, right? Like I will look, maybe there's something left over in there or, or something like this. So there's our HTML code and our tables and the formatting and all these kind of things. So I, I simply skim through um, the source code right now and just, seeing if there's anything standing out. And I see here a script, this is a JavaScript, and there's a JavaScript function, and it is actually sending a request to an endpoint called attendees event.php, and then probably the query string here, that's probably the event ID. So I, I copy this out because this looks interesting. And then I simply put this into the browser, right? Like, so I, I see if it comes back with anything interesting, and it does not. Right, so um, nothing at that point. So here, this is the request I send. It ju I just get a 200 okay, but no information leakage or um, whatever, right? So I send it to repeater and I try it again. And it, again, it says like, no, there is there is nothing really. Maybe I should remove the, the character. Let's see. No, there's there's nothing really to, to be found. So as, as an attacker, you, usually or as a security researcher, you don't give up, right? Like you say like, hey, maybe there is something or whatever. So let's go back to our target tab. And this is what I can see here. Um, it's certainly like an API call or it looks like an API call. And you simply skim through the files, right? And like what could be interesting? Like for example, that's the DR panel here. And we have like the DR API, the index PHP logout. I'm not really interested in those right now or, or, the, or the canceled. Um, but something which stands out right away is like a, something called a site settings, right? Like, because this is maybe something like with some parameter set for the, for the, for the website. So uh, send this to repeat and take a look at it, right? Like what, what does site settings actually mean? And then I get something interesting. So this is like um, an event handler process for that specific web application. And it tells me that there is a header like X dash site dash, dash REQ like requested and then permitted. So maybe this is like a header I need to set in a request or, you know, in order to retrieve information. So let's try this, right? Like um, nothing can go wrong, trial and error. So I just add this here and the value was permitted. So I put in permitted and then I run the request again. Oh, and all of a sudden, see, I had this header missing in order to retrieve information. All of a sudden I get information about this event, about the specific event. So it's a title, a description in there. And it tells me like when it takes place, what time it, it takes place, what the attendees are and all these kind of things. So this is an information leakage. Um, once again, and you can see down here, the canceled attendees, like people who canceled, um, who were supposed to go to this event, but then in the end they canceled. And so this is an information disclosure vulnerability, which wasn't obvious at first sight because you needed something else. And that something else was an additional header. 
Um, what immediately stands out to me as well is that the event IDs seem to be sequential, numeric. So as an attacker, I would now brute force those and go around and maybe I can get information about previous events, other events and stuff like that. But this is certainly an information disclosure vulnerability um, because you should not be able to get to this event. As you can see here on, on the actual website, when we go back to the, to the hacker back, right? Like here's our hacker back. Um, there was none of this information visible, but through API calls and through some digging, we were able to facilitate an information disclosure vulnerability. Okay, I hope this makes sense, and I look forward to see you in the next video.